tell me a joke. It's what they always want. And what do you want? Live it up tonight, brother. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Hey, You're all wonderful. Hey, drive safe. Drive safe, please. Thank you. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't see you out there. I can't believe you. Whoa. Hey, Johnny. Nice to see you. It's been a long while. How you been? You're using him in your bit now? You know, I didn't want to believe it. And even after hearing you say it while up on the fucking stage, I still can't believe it. Listen, listen, I can explain. No, it's... God, don't touch me. What is wrong with you? You do understand that he is gone, right? Yeah, no, I understand that. And why are you telling stories about our son starting third grade when he never even started first? Yeah, that's a goddamn! I get it. I do, I get it. There's so many days where I, I wonder what it would be like if you were still here, but you had built this whole fantasy world. No, no I, God. I don't understand. No, what I can't wrap my head around, Donnie, and what I cannot forgive is how you could profit off of our son's death. That's, that's not... I'm not gonna let you try and justify this. Hearing you make up those stories killed the tiny piece of me that I still had left. Yeah, I got your 32% right here. If you're feeling lucky. I hope the money is worth it to you. It's not, it's not what I'm... You know, after everything that we have been through, I, I genuinely feel bad for you. I never want to see you again. No.
sounds like she's in a lot of pain. Do you think she overreacted? No. No, she didn't. Do you feel it is appropriate to use him in your comedy skits? Appropriate. Everybody copes with tragedy in different ways, but this is not a healthy road for you to go down. Can I tell you a joke? Sure. So, there's a father and a son. Right? Son's about three years old. One day he looks at his dad and he just goes, Daddy, I'm gonna get married. Really? Okay, kiddo, so who's the lucky gal? And he goes, Grandma. She tells me she loves me all the time and I love her, so I think we should get married. And the dad looks at his kid and smiles. He's a clever kid, right? He's got his whole life figured out. Well, there's a little problem with that kiddo. What? Grandma's my mommy, and you can't marry my mommy. Kid kind of looks confused for a second. And then with all the contempt a three-year-old can muster, he looks back at him and he goes, why not? You married mine. <laughs> Funny. Is that in your set? Just something I heard. Is the little boy your son? Does it matter? I believe it does, yes. There's this painting here. It's beautiful. It's the play of the oranges and the yellows and the reds and the light. But you've never seen this tree before, right? You don't know if that's what it actually looks like. Maybe the colors are different. Maybe. It was raining that day. Or maybe this tree is long dead. But that doesn't matter to you. It doesn't affect your appreciation of the art. You love the art for the art. I don't tell stories about my son's death because it makes it any easier. <laughs> it fucking kills me every time I say his name. Every time I make up a story of what my life should have been. If it hurts you, Johnny, then why do you continue to do it? Because the people laugh. And it's not about, like, the fucking money. It's, it... My son will never grow up. I'll never get to see him play a video game, or get addicted to cell phones, or do anything ever again, really. Um, but he will. In my stories, he will make people laugh. And then they can forget their heartbreak and their issues. All because of my son and the life I wish he had had. I don't want to keep killing myself like this. But I will. For him. <laughs>